Good morning, good life. Welcome back to Amy TV, where we come together to help you go after the life that you want. If you clicked on this video, you're a lot like me. You're getting old. Just kidding. Kinda. You appreciate the small things in life. The small things that make you happy are a V. Big deal. That's why I'm excited about today's video because I feel this is a safe space for me to share five household items that have absolutely increased my daily happiness. They also make me feel like I have my shit together. Not gonna lie. My all-time favorite place to be in the world is home. But if you're not careful, your home can start to look like a really big chore. I've been looking for ways to sustain cleanliness and presentability in my house, not just because, you know, people come over or even that I happen to be filming all around my house, but because genuinely I feel better and I am much more productive when my home doesn't look like a bomb hit it. I've picked out a few items that are around my house that have helped me to do this and have significantly increased the happiness level that I have just being here, just, just habitating. Is that a word? Is that like, is that the context? I don't know. Habitating. Basically, I've picked out a few things that not only increased my happiness, but are helping me to continually be tidy. Keeping up is a lot easier than doing a whole deep clean. So those are the things that I want to share with you today because we only have so many days of the year for a deep clean. Before we dig into today's discussion, you know what time it is. I have to share a little bit of Twitter gratitude. And today I'm shining a light on Ari Pendragon. Chelsea Darling, thank you so much for watching my videos. I would have called you Darling anyway if it wasn't in your name. I think I'm just going to start calling everyone Joe Darling or Susie Darling. That's, I, I, that's a thing. You can call me Amy Darling. Darling. I appreciate you for your time and attention and I acknowledge you for what you do for me to lift me up and for watching these videos and for retweeting. That was a big one. If you would potentially like to be featured here and be potentially called Darling, you can follow me on Twitter and retweet my latest video when it comes out and I may randomly select you. My first household item is the electric tea kettle. I've talked about this in the past, but let me tell you why it's increasing my happiness. First of all, I almost got rid of the kettle situation because of how yucky it was looking on my stove. The hard water spots on the stove, on the actual kettle itself, it just wasn't even worth it. But this has changed the game. This is super important to me because I love me some Four Sigmatic, and as a matter of fact, Four Sigmatic is sponsoring this episode of Amy TV. Vin and I always have our coffee, but we like to try different things that offer more health benefits to them, and that's why we love Four Sigmatic. Four Sigmatic products are made with mushrooms, and that may sound crazy because no, I do not put them on my pizza, but I will drink them. And the reason why is they have so many benefits for focus. I love to drink coffee throughout the day, so I love the Four Sigmatic coffees because they offer these additional benefits. If you go with the mushroom coffee with cordyceps, which is more for performance, this is gonna help you achieve and sustain steady energy levels and you're gonna want to drink this in the morning before physical activity or a really really busy day sort of how they talk about having your pre-workout drink this is a great option for that I'm also a very big fan of the lion's mane elixir this is what I will be drinking before I start writing my book or when I'm facing a deadline this is my go-to and when I'm not in the mood for coffee but I still need my energy booster I will go straight for the cordyceps elixir as you can see very important to have my electric kettle because that along with a packet of four sigmatic is a drink in a snap like super fast and it also is going to be offering me the benefits just as fast you know we like to do everything fast around here so no delays please check out my link in the description to get 15% off your first order of Four Sigmatic to give it a try and I promise you even if you're not a mushrooms person you are going to be blown away we have so many different kinds that we keep in our kitchen and we just love trying new ones all the time so when I'm done making the Four Sigmatic I basically just dump out the tea kettle and I leave it upside down for a little while in the clean side of the sink and it just kind of airs out and then I can just set it down back on its little heating unit and it's done and so this has brought me so much happiness that I don't feel like I have an extra thing to clean or have to clean around it. And it makes my kitchen continue to look more clean, but still have 
more options to be able to serve for drinks. My second household item that has significantly boosted happiness and a couple of these, I have to give a massive shout out to Gretchen Rubin. We're talking about this on the episode of Detail Therapy where I actually went to her house in New York City to talk about her because I had to compliment her on a lot of things I've learned. But this was one of them and that is bonus trash cans. I'm calling them bonus because they're the ones that you may not have thought of in the first place. You have your kitchen trash can, you have your office trash can, you have your bathroom trash can, and that's basically the lay of the land with trash cans. But it was funny, I heard her say one day, why don't you put a trash can in the closet? It's an ultimate happiness booster. I've literally left my house with tags on my clothes, not because I plan to return it, but because I didn't feel like taking the tags off and walking them all the way to the kitchen trash. And I didn't want to make a mess on my closet floor. But then I got a closet trash can and suddenly less clutter, less tags, less paper. And if I change my mind later, I can find the tag. It's in the trash can. And that doesn't always work, but it's always very reassuring to know, like I can at least go and find out who made it and how much it cost. And if I regret this, a trash can in the laundry room. I mean, think about that, the lint thing. I don't even know what it's called. I don't always clean it out because I have nowhere to put the lint. Oh, oh my God. Does anyone relate to that? I don't think anyone does. I'm gonna start a fire. No, I'm not because I have a trash can. Or like old dryer sheets or just random stuff that gets damaged because it shouldn't have been in the washer in the first place. Bonus, trash cans. I love it. Who doesn't love it? I love it. That has increased my happiness. My third household item that has boosted my happiness is acrylic containers. I recently bought these on Amazon and it was because we have very little storage in our apartment. We are so ready for an upgrade at this point. And in the pantry, I really had to make the most of these very deep shelves where I can't see what's in the back and I needed to be able to see things in the front. So rather than keeping protein powder and flour and all this kind of stuff in their own usual containers, which are messy and sometimes you have to put them in a Ziploc so they don't go bad, I bought these acrylic containers to keep things fresh and also so that I could see them very easily as soon as I open up the pantry. This has resulted in more happiness because I know exactly what I have if I'm quickly making a list for the store. And I also know exactly what I have when I need to make a snack, which is all the time. My fourth favorite household product that has helped increase my happiness is not a product at all, but it is less product. And here's what it is. Another shout out to Gretchen Rubin. I did not realize how much this was going to make me happy until Vin tried to take it away from me. And that is my empty shelf. I have a small apartment, I don't have a lot of storage, but there was something about the idea that I could have an empty shelf so that there was a sense of, you don't have too much stuff for this place, look, you have an entirely empty shelf. And I made it the one in my coat closet so that I felt even better when people came over to the house and I hung their coats up in the fall or the winter or the spring or the summer because I live in Ohio. And that even they would see, look, an empty shelf. Huge happiness booster. Now it's very hard to articulate to those who live with you why on earth there would be an empty shelf on purpose. It looks like welcome territory to start storing something new. And I just remember getting so frustrated with Vin because he wanted to put stuff there. And I was like, Vincenzo, that's my empty shelf. And he's like, I got that. No, 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 you don't understand. Like it's supposed to stay empty. And he said to me, does that actually make you happy to have an empty shelf? And I was like, it quite literally is only empty for that reason. So I don't know, just give it a try. Maybe you won't feel that way. It definitely depends on if you're more of like a simplicity or an abundance person, which is another thing that I think um, Gretchen talks about. I am abundance in some ways, but when it comes from a display situation, which is what I feel like my entire apartment is, I like simplicity. And my fifth favorite household item that has boosted my happiness is my label maker. When I found this little baby on Amazon, I was tickled. It has so many fun functionalities that I rarely have the time to figure out and use like emojis and stuff. I just like labeling things and it prints so fast and it looks so good. And you probably saw it on my canisters. I have labeled a lot of stuff in my house. And it's great because what it does is it doesn't just give an unnecessary task. It may seem like that to a lot of people, it just depends on how you think. For me, 
it is less searching and less decision making. In my closet, I have shelves that just have all kinds of stuff in them and they're all organized and they all look great. But until I open them, I don't remember which drawer everything is in. I, I don't know why, maybe it's because I keep cleaning things out and keep moving things around, but I don't know which is which one is the sock drawer and which one is the bra drawer. So I have labeled those so I don't have to think about it because the less I have to think in the morning when I'm getting ready for the day, the better off I am for the big things I have to think about. That is what a label maker does for me. It probably also makes me look like a freak to everyone that comes to my house. Those are five items that have boosted my happiness and here's a little tweetable in turn. There are two ways of meeting difficulties. You alter the difficulties or you alter yourself to meet them. Phyllis Batome. Now I wanna hear from you. I know you're thinking of one. You gotta tell me, okay, what is your household upgrade that has allowed you to get a little bit happier? Share that in the comments below. And thanks again to the sponsor of this episode of Amy TV, and that is Four Sigmatic. You definitely gotta try their coffee with lion's mane. It's gonna help you be more productive, get more focused, and that's by far my favorite. I reach for it every afternoon when I'm starting to feel like my natural energy level is suffering a bit. All of the Four Sigmatic products are super affordable and their website is extremely helpful. So if you're thinking like, oh, I don't know what I want the taste to be, I'm not really interested in coffee, I wanna try something else, or you're looking for what the benefits of those things would be, then definitely check out the site. You can sort by any of those options. And if you use the link in the description below, you'll be able to get 15% off that first order. So check it out. That's all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Make sure you subscribe for good vibes, kiss the ones you love, and go after the life you want. Cheers. <laughs>